Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a deodorant. You guys have been asking me for a deodorant type formula for a really long time now, and I finally have one I'm ready to share. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through my step-by-step -step process and tutorial of how to make this deodorant. And if you would like the full written recipe with percentages and a full step-by-step -step written tutorial and a blog style post, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this formula for just a $5 pledge. Not only will you be able to unlock today's formula, but you'll be able to unlock hundreds more at just the $5 level all over on the Patreon campaign. We're coming up on almost four years now over there, and I do post weekly, sometimes twice weekly, recipes and tutorials. There really is a ton to take advantage of over there. There are also four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of if you like. And also more recently, we have started offering a 10% off coupon code to makesy.com and we also offer five and $10 off coupon codes to onlinelabels.com, making your sign up and your monthly benefits so well worth it. I really hope you'll go check it out. I'll place the link in the description box for you. All right, let's make some deodorant. All right, so before we get started, it's really important to note, you just wanna make sure everything in your environment is super clean. We don't wanna get any bacteria or germs into our raw materials or our finished product. So what I have here is some rice bran oil and I have been infusing some rosemary, some dried rosemary in the rice bran oil now for several hours. And the reason why I'm using rosemary is because it has great detoxifying properties, making it a great herb for deodorant type recipes and also it smells really good so we're just going to go ahead and i'm going to place this in here this is just a giant bath tea bag and i'm going to squeeze out the excess oil in here we just want to make sure we're getting all the goodness of the infusion All right, and then I'm gonna go change out my gloves. All right, I've gone ahead and transferred the rest of the infused rice bran oil back into this mason jar. And rice bran oil is very good for your skin because it's high in antioxidants and it's naturally high in vitamin E. So it's gonna to help to preserve the shelf life of the other oils being added into this formula and it's also very good for your skin. So the next thing we're gonna do is start weighing off the heated phase ingredients for this formula. And the first heated phase ingredient we're gonna be weighing off is called zinc ricanoleate. Now, zinc ricanoleate is the key ingredient or the active ingredient, I like to call it the star of the show. This is the ingredient that's gonna effectively trap and absorb odor molecules so they're not perceivable. Basically, it's gonna make it a natural deodorizer for your skin or your underarms. So this is a more natural ingredient and this deodorant is aluminum free. So I've been using it, I think it's pretty effective. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh off the zinc. Okay. And the next ingredient we're gonna be weighing off is the cocum butter. We're using cocum butter in this formula. Cocum butter is really known for its hydrating properties. This butter is made from the seeds of a fruit called cocum, and it's very similar to shea butter and cocoa butter, but it's a little bit better, it's higher in. It's really packed with essential fatty acids, and it's said to help slow down aging. This is a great butter for anti-aging, but it's also known for its moisturizing properties, skin softening properties, and it's just overall a great butter to use on your skin. So we're using some cocoa butter and it's hard and brittle, kind of like cocoa butter. So this is going to add to the um, hardening properties. Basically we're using this to help create a solid deodorant type stick. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna be adding is some shea butter. 
Shea butter is also very hydrating and nourishing to the skin, packed full of antioxidants. This is gonna be a great butter to add also because it's gonna help with kind of the meltability when this hits your skin. This is gonna help it melt a little bit easier and glide onto your skin a little bit easier as well. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add in some coconut oil. We're adding coconut oil in for a couple reasons. Coconut oil is also going to help to make this a solid stick type deodorant, but it melts on contact very easily with the skin, making this a great oil to help glide on and over your skin. Also, coconut oil has antibacterial properties in it making it a great ingredient for underarm care. Perfect. And then the next thing we're gonna be adding in is our infused rice bran oil. All right, in goes the rosemary infused rice bran oil. Okay. Then we're gonna be adding in some wax. Now, instead of beeswax today, I'm gonna be using rice bran wax. This is gonna keep this formula vegan friendly. This is gonna lend hardness to the bar, and it's also got, you know, antioxidants and vitamin E, just like the oil does, but it's gonna also provide a barrier to your skin, so this is gonna provide a little bit of a barrier when you apply it and really help to keep the wetness off of your skin. The next thing we're gonna be adding is some cetyl alcohol. Now, if you wanted to leave the cetyl alcohol out, you could add in a little bit more shea butter, or coconut oil, but I'm using it today for its skin feel. Basically, I like the way that the acetyl alcohol is very silky feeling on your skin. It's gonna give it a little bit of an emollient feel too and make it easier to glide on to your underarms. So we're gonna be adding in just a little bit of acetyl alcohol. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna be added, adding to the heated phase is some kale and clay. Now, I've done a lot of research. I know a lot of people use um, baking soda and it does effectively help to reduce odor in the underarm area. But some of the long-term issues with baking soda, people can get skin issues uh, with baking so soda over the long haul. And I know a lot of like natural type deodorants use it. And even commercial ones that are on the market right now use it. But if you notice it's on the back or the bottom of their ingredient list, meaning they're using it at a very small rate. So I'm just gonna be avoiding the baking soda controversy altogether. Plus it can be kind of irritating to use baking soda on freshly shaved skin. And with the kale and clay, this is gonna to help to absorb odor and moisture, but it's also gonna to help to detoxify. So we're just gonna be using some kale and clay instead of baking soda. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and warm this up and get it all melted down. And then we have a couple other ingredients in the cool down phase. I'll bring you right back when it's all melted down. 
All right, that takes a little while to melt down because the rice bran wax and the zinc and the cocoa and butter all have a little bit higher of a melt point, but you wanna go slow so that you also don't scorch that shea butter. So the last thing we're gonna be adding into here are the essential oils. So I'm gonna be using some rosemary essential oil and also some tea tree essential oil. I'm using these for their detoxifying properties. Rosemary is very good at detoxifying. It also smells very fresh and herbaceous. And then your tea tree has great antibacterial properties to it and is great for skin. Here we go. Here goes the tea tree. Now, I have experimented a little bit with the good bacterias to add to these deodorants. However, you have to add them at a lower melt point, and they are also water-based ingredients, which means you'd need some sort of emulsion or emulsifier to effectively add them into a formula like this and this particular formula just gets too hot it kills off that good bacteria so i will be experimenting with how to add in the um, good bacteria into deodorants it might be a deodorant cream type recipe i'll have to do some more looking into it but for now this one just contains the zinc and it works really good all right we're going to be pouring into these cute little one ounce they have these little domes that go on the top of them. They're super cute. I got these from Brambleberry and they twist up. They twist up and they're just super cute looking. They're one ounce a piece. So this formula does set up rather quickly. It's not gonna go clear or um, transparent because we do have the addition of the clay in there. So it's also always gonna look opaque like that. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pour into our little one ounce containers. Now that those are all poured in, we're going to allow them to set up and I'll bring you back for a use demo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how one of these works. This one I've had now for a little while, so it's totally set up. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way so I can show you what it looks like. And also you can see what it looks like after it's been set up for some time. These are good to use after about 24 hours. So I just love that little plastic dome that goes over the top. I think that's really cute. Okay, so then you can just roll it up if you need to. And this has a really, really good skin feel. It glides on perfectly. I think that I've come to the perfect ratio of hard butters, acetyl alcohol, liquid oils, and it just glides on really, really nicely. And it's clear. It just kind of absorbs in very easily and it works really good. All right, everybody, that's how you make a solid deodorant. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to comment or question below. That really means a lot to me. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.